Sorry, eating a muff. <clears throat> Alright, welcome back. Uh, I was actually going to start like 20 minutes ago, so a little bit early tonight, but uh, I got into a round of Bellatro. I just couldn't stop until I beat it. I actually got the half joke at work, which is pretty impressive for myself. And Tony is currently clipping through the, the desk. Which is fantastic. Okay, I thought I heard like object sound effects or something. Alright, so we need to go visit the lady at the farm. The mushrooms told me so. Um, they also told me we need to uh, we really need to get a, a cave monster, because we got nothing but woodland creatures right now. And the mushrooms say we need a uh, we need another one. Uh, is it back this way? I think it is. I guess we could. That's this nice little farming area here. That's what the mushrooms told me. <clears throat> the problem is we have to figure out who we're going to leave behind. I'm thinking it's going to be Leaf Joko. As neat as he is, we, uh, I've already used him previously in another life. Mushrooms told me that. The problem is, I just I don't really know which one I want. I feel like little bat boy is cute. Um, there's a meta bat which I've also used. Tusk whisk I'm not terribly into. It's just okay. And then of course there's bizwato, biz whatever, um, which you know. I guess it's okay, but it doesn't seem particularly different from anything I've got. This guy will not go down. Holy shit. <laughs> Come on, Ravage. Don't get fucking bodied by a goddamn bat. Oh my god. What have I run into? What is happening here? Enforcements. We actually <laughs> might ravage might die to this. Wow. Okay. That is terrifying. A little worried about him not getting spared until we're back. This thing has to be going down you see. Maybe this is the thing to go with. Maybe it's the Gava was just so stupidly powerful. Mushrooms haven't told me anything about that one yet. Oh, a Parmalag. I do like Parmalag. He's a cutie. I don't remember what he does. I think he's just high defense. I think Parmalink might be the way to go, honestly. I like him. I have a passion for armored things. Oh, hey, man. Uh, hold on, let me move my thing. Yeah. I'm alright. Mushrooms are telling me which, uh, 
which dream feature I should get next. Apparently Vinok was told the to miss by the mushrooms. So, I don't know. I'm kind of going with Parmalag though, I like. Uh, I like that the mushrooms told me uh, that Parmalag's good. Shake. Oh my god, what is shake? It's not scratch. <laughs> That's neat. I love him more already. Why are we getting little frame drops? What the hell's going on here? That's really weird for this, like, I have two things and one of them is a fucking Game Boy emulator. Brock, could you please learn something else? The fat ass has been with us, but day one is still nothing. Oh my god. I didn't think we got a parma leg out of that, did we? Fuck my ass. Uh, I mean, the mushrooms told me to fuck my ass. It was nothing. Yeah. Is it really 244 too? What the fuck, man? Well, I want to look at that. What the hell's going on? Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say it better not be 240 because I know I'm paying. I'm paying for 360 piss, and I'm gonna get 360 piss. I don't know, maybe Frog should go out. I kind of like the idea of taking him to the very end of the game, but like at the same time... He really doesn't do anything anyone else does. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, 360 is plenty for, for this. I'm just really hoping that it looks... Better. Why the fuck am I getting frame drops? What the hell's happening? <laughs> oh, this makes me mad. This should not be happening. This is literally just BGB. There's nothing going on except this. What does task manager say is going on? Better not be fucking Windows Defender at it again. I swear to God, I'll let all the viruses in. Yep, it's not the Windows Manager. So the funny thing is, I think I'm. Th I theoretically What the fuck is Windows Audio Graph? Apparently it's taking five percent of my CPU, whatever it is. Um apparently I have uh so I was just browsing through YouTube and one of those uh like how to see hidden uh hidden programs or whatever on your computer popped up. They're like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll watch this. Um, and I don't think it was terribly informative, but it was kind of showing, like, how um, some things will uh, pretend to be, like, the serve host.exe or whatever it is, CVS host or whatever. Um and it's actually like a Bitcoin miner or something stupid. And so I went through and I looked at like my processes like, oh, sure enough, there's like three of these things in there. But the problem is they're not actually doing anything. And I think it's because <laughs> my laptop is so fucking just garbage that it's only got two threads in the on the CPU. And 
that may actually be like below the bare minimum for these programs to actually kick themselves on to try and use threads. So they're never working. Like usually the thing that's going absolutely fucking haywire is my fucking defender suite for some goddamn reason. Even though apparently it's missing these. Um chat more visible. Boop, 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 boop. I actually need to I need to Let's actually fuck up the chat just a smidge here. Um, let's actually move here, and that actually makes chat far more legible. Just inch you over the slightest. There we go. Okay. We make a chat more visible, but. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Legibility is fun. Tony's impatient with us. The mushrooms told me that. Alright, let's fight some more fucking bugs. Uh, where the fuck is my energy? Hello? Why am I at 99? Oh my god, what have I done? We've gone too far. <laughs> Hemorrhaging fucking... beans. Actually gonna have to go back to town. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, good old level up. Right in the nick of time. So we can make a Bizawog. Got two Parma legs. Maybe that's enough. Oh, wait. I'll need. I'm legit curious if that guy's a Wolverine reference. Um, I want to. I want to look at what the stream actually looks like. I don't know if I fucked up and like. I thought that I powered down my computer last time, and yeah, that's also true. Oh, I have enough. Awesome. Let's make a power lag. Power lag. Parmesan. Parmesan. Ding long. Ma ding a dong. Bing a bong. Okay. So we need to take some things off. Let's take off the Choco. Red block, because we haven't been using red block. Okay. That little cunt just start out with level 15. Yeah, just fucking damn, dude. We manufactured ourselves a level 15 Pokemon. And some epilepsy. Okay, it's looking like, okay. Well, no, now it's looking fine, just because I'm fucking staring at it. Um, the problem was, I think the preview is, it's making me, uh, it's bleh. Showing me some far worse things than I'm seeing. Can I sleep in here? Oh, no, I can't. Um... I do actually need to get rid of Linux. Uh, I tried to install it on here. I've got as far as getting Ubuntu uh, 
fired up. Uh, then I realized it's like it's taking a shit ton of space, so I don't really need it. Parma lag time. Look at this boy. Look at my baby. Oh, here's a, co a cave rug lot. We can replace the one we just had. Uh, damn, look at all this. Look, 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 look at this beam. Look at all this shit. Okay, so I think the stream's actually running at 20 set, or at 30, but the preview was showing me like 15 for some goddamn reason. And I was getting upset about that. Hello, wireless caller that should not be calling me at 10 o'clock at night. Fuck off. They're obviously a machine. Um, actually, why do I even have this? I don't even need this app open. I've got chat right here. We have chat at home. Alright, uh, let's try a shake. Yeah. Yeah. Get fucked on, piggo. God, that is a horrible little fucking beast. Creepy. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna keep these two out. I wanna try shield. I need to figure out what's going on with, uh... oh, it just boosts shield. Well, okay. It's a buff. I need to figure out what Ravage's issue with heal is, because I tried using it on Vinoc and it gave me like two energy back. Which was not, what the hell, is not at all what this thing needs. I think next round we, or the next area we'll go into, unless I find something I really want here. Uh, we're probably going to replace Farak with um, the fucking Flamey Fister. And that'll be our, our boy for the Fireland. Um... Alright, so I'm content with what we got. Let's go ahead and... That's usually what I've done, but I've honestly... I've got... Um, I've got the OBS window open behind the game. Um, I can actually... I can't. And... Uh, oh, a brub. I would love a brub. A brub's the other one I want. Um... I've got the stream preview, and I'm just kind of I'm reading it off the stream preview, which is really weird, but it's working. Let's shake that rub. What a rub! But yeah, that's been my like my main way of doing things for a long time. If I'm not on my laptop, uh, that's usually how I do things. And it works. You know the really sad thing? Um, is my phone is actually my most advanced streaming device. Like, I've got... Uh, I've, what, what the fuck is that thing called? Streamlabs. On my phone. And I'll use it to stream... Uh, I'll do, like, Gunpla. Or I'll paint minis. Or I'll, like... I'll get the fucking CRT and Saturn set up and do some uh, do some old games. And that's the only way I can do anything close to like 1080p and 60 frames per second. It's the only way I've got uh, my mouse was once the sixth of the game window. <laughs> Wait, is my mouse on? Hold on. Like this? Yeah, I'm just playing it like, uh... Yeah. It's not bad. You know... <laughs> Hold on. I want to check that. That's horribly unprofessional. My mouse is on. <laughs> no, it's not capturing cursor. Okay. Um... So, I've got the little tiny window for, um, for the game, and then I've got it, like, slightly overlaid the, uh, 
in front of the OBS browser, so it's not sh like they're not conflicting because I've done that where I had, um, uh, I had a, uh, <laughs> um, uh, fucking what was I doing? I had the the game the game open, and then OBS behind it, but I had them in two separate locations, so I was looking at one instead of the other, and I started making mistakes because of it. Got a brub. Got a brub. Can we make a brub? I want a brub. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. We're replacing far with brub. If I can make a brub. Okay. But yeah, my uh, my my resolution is very small because that's just I I don't know. That's how I've always played these things. Brub 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 I like how casual like the art of rain making is in this game. It's like Pruitt just fucking smashed it with a hammer seventeen thousand times and uh this lady just I don't even know, puts it in a coffee machine. I don't know what she's doing here. Okay, so we got a bro, we got a parmalag. lag. I think we're ready. We're ready to move on and actually do some progress. Which I'm assuming is this way. I don't actually know. We're just kind of, we're sallying forth. Something, I could kick something. forget what it was, though. So. Oh, and Jesus fucking Christ. Did I get... Um... Okay, that's kind of a problem. I need to go get those fucking items. Maybe later. I don't want to do that right now. Oh, this is the other way. Okay, we've gone full circle. That's a shortcut back to Vashner room for... I don't really know if we ever need to go back there, but I guess that's... Yeah, it's it's really fucking weird how, like... How far our phones have gone to the point where, like, they're now... They not only have, like, Eclipse uh, tablets, but they've also eclipsed a lot of laptops, too. Spec-wise. Oh, what the f <laughs> Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. Where am I? What is this? Is it locked? I guess it's locked. Tony. Tony, what, what do we know about this? Give me a quip. It's just a mysterious fucking slab. Okay, apparently that's not where I need to go. I don't remember ever seeing that. What time is it for you, by the way? Because I was kind of wondering that, like... You've caught my earlier nonsense uh, streams, but... I know it's usually like ass fuck dawn in uh, Deutschland right now. Gotta find the farm. <laughs> yeah. There goes Tony. Oh my god, man. Go to bed. That is insanely late. That's not even late. That's early at this point. I think this way now. The mushrooms have told me to go this way. Uh, you know, let's let's fight with the brub. I want to kind of let's throw a brub in here. It's brub time. That was my favorite movie as a kid when uh, brub would say it's brub time. All right, man. Yeah. Let's lamp this dude. I love the fact that brub looks like a fucking a lamp post. 
See what claw does. <laughs> oh, Jesus, you don't have to work tomorrow, do you? Or today? Wait, what day is it? it now boys grubs fighting for his life here all right let's claw oh Jesus Christ well, I hope you work like second shift or some shit don't have to be there at nine it's goddamn oh okay good It's exactly the same. Oh my god. <laughs> he just one shot it. Holy shit. Ooh. There goes Brub. Brub has been unbrubbed. Let's uh let's bring him back. Uh a Steam Deck is like as much as a computer as far as I know so if I was going to like put my money towards anything it would probably just be towards an actual desktop or a functioning like gaming laptop or something um, they are they're neat I do like them but I don't know I'm not in the market for a insanely overpriced handheld TF2 on a Steam Deck would be fucking sick, though. It'd be thug nasty. The mushrooms told me so. Oh, those things I can run through. Have I been in here? <laughs> I think I did come in here, like... Last stream near the end, I was delirious. Lumpily smushy. Mushy. It's just having a good time. Smushy. Interesting. What can you really do with it besides, like, play Steam games, though? Like, can you stream off it? That's something that bugs me about the Switch, is you can't stream. Like, I have a capture card specifically for that thing. Well, not for that thing. I really need to do another Saturn Showcase sometime. Uh, I've got a... I've got, like, a... Fuck, I've been picking up a few new games every once in a while. Oh, I've got fucking Knights, man! Holy shit. I need to add that to the Summer Showcase. Um, I've got Nights in the Dreams. I just, like... My uh, my local game store had a fucking copy of that shit just laying around. I was like, oh my god, 20 bucks? Fuck. You're kidding. So it really is just a computer. That's wild in itself. Oh my god, they're shaking each other. It's like watching two fucking sea snails penis fence.
Wasn't he just level 12? I'm having a stroke. Whose house was that? Why would... What? Who just has a basement and a fucking, like, cave? Okay, I'm getting turned around. This is not good. This is ungood. Oh, I found it. Haha. <laughs> Made it. I don't know why that took so much effort. I don't know why I did that. So what's her face? She should clean more off. Yeah, and excuse me. Welcome to Grux Mushroom Farm. May I help you? Oh, you can buy things. Hmm. Let's see. So. I haven't touched any of this crap. I have a ticket. I don't know what a ticket does. Why well, ask why you're so tired? What? No, it's nothing. I just can't sleep at night because of those darn noises in the basement. I would check them out myself, but I'm afraid to go down there. Yeah, this lady's just asking for trouble. Also, a bit of foreshadowing, there's a reason why, uh, why the Rainmaker and the Shopkeeper are in a different area from the town. I wonder if she grew this. What is this supposed to be? Is like It looks to me like a vat of just, like, shit and water. You know. Filled with books on how to fight the moral enemy of productivity sleep. Okay. Can I check the chair? A perfect chair for watching TV in. Now only if there were a TV. What was that? Oh, no. You're coming with us. You two smell. Why should I go with you? Because I said so. <laughs> That's funny. No. Hey, what are you doing? Ah! Grok? See, the game really gets good when it's like this spooky shit, like, when the music turns off, that's when things really get good. So this is an interesting thing. We don't get to see this guy very much. But it will become relevant here shortly. Everything goes to complete shit. Are they out here? They, did they go somewhere else? Or are they down in that basement? Might be down that basement. Yeah. There's a special je ne sais quoi about old Game Boy. Oh, what the fuck is this nonsense? Was this here? No, it was here. That's right. This is the way out. Yeah, there's definitely like... There's a lost art to subtlety i feel like uh if you like that kind of thing there's a youtuber by the name of thor high heels and i can get you a uh a link to him later uh he's a he's one of those uh he does like documentaries on games or like er eras of games and uh he's funny but he also does a really he has a really like poignant uh way of like focusing on the little quiet parts of games and how they make you feel like the ambience and all that you know it's really nice yeah yeah awesome yeah i haven't watched his stuff in a long time and i feel bad about that like last i heard his father had just died and i was like oh man that's fucking terrible hey look at that bro tanking it like a champ
Yeah, we need to get, I need to get back and, uh, uh, dance. Let's shake this cunt. Oh, I was kind of thinking, I know Tenocon is coming up here, and, like, I haven't had a reason to watch Tenocon in, like, like, five goddamn years, but, like, it just occurred to me we could do, like, a, sh like, a, uh, screening, I don't know what you call it, uh, something like that. Yeah, uh, and actually, I need to go back and find something that he did. He did one on, like, it was a, uh, maybe it wasn't him, and I just happened to stumble across it. Um, it was like, it was called, like, Night Captain, or Night Pilot, or something, and it's, all it is, is, like, it's a Japanese, uh, it's a, a, a fucking god damn my brain's not function. It's a playing game. And all you do you're landing a plane on a runway at night. And I swear to god, it has the most like chill aesthetics I've ever fucking seen. Like you could distill that and turn it into a fucking drink. Um See, I don't know if I want to catch the Warfin community, because a lot of my shit on the Warfin community is like things that aren't good, you know? Like, I'll be honest, I played that game for six years, I'm still pretty fucking bad at it, but at this point, I don't even really want to be good, you know? Like, it, it's like, I don't want to do the fucking farming, and I don't want to do the grind, and I don't want to do the like, charge through the entire fucking level with the, the uh, Ignis Wraith and not even, like, look at the enemies, or, like, the nuke fucking strategies. You know, like, I don't, I don't want to do those things. I'd rather have the game be challenging and me suck absolute shit at it, you know? Uh, and that's definitely not the way most people play. I don't, I see, and that's the other thing. I don't even know who's playing fucking Warframe anymore these days. Like, a lot of the guys I used to watch aren't around anymore. Like, uh, Rathalius... I don't, I don't even know what he's doing anymore. He, uh... I think he's making music now. I fucked that puzzle up, I think. Um... I used to watch Asiago Tano, but I don't know. I haven't really been into him lately. Brozine. Who the fuck knows? It's like, just... No one can, no one can really bring themselves to care enough about Warframe anymore. It's just been around too long. What am I doing? Are they in here? No, they're not. Maybe this is where the twins hang out after. And it goes bad. That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, it's the same thing with Kingdom Hearts. Like... I'm one of the few people that says Kingdom Hearts 2 is probably one of the weakest of the entire series, and, like, like, you're still, like, I'll just run into, like, fucking threads on Twitter of people, like, absolutely sucking to schlong and saying that Chain of Memories was the worst on the fucking planet. It's like, it, I, it's, it permeates, you know, the popular opinion. Yeah, and see, that's why, like, that's why I'm I'm doing the stuff I want to do, you know. Like, I'm not playing fucking Among Us or Fortnite or any of that crap because I don't care about those games. I'm playing the games that I enjoy because it's enjoyable to me, you know. And if I so happen to be fortunate enough to run into people who like Magi Nation or uh, whatever else I've been doing lately, I've forgotten. Uh, you know. All is the better. I really don't feel like fighting three of those fucking things again. Tony, level up, please. 
I'm running out of juice. Yeah. Where the fuck am I? God, I would be... Oh, okay, cool. What'd you do with Grok? This is new music. Hold the fucking phone. You baloney here. Let me let me turn this up a little bit. All right. There we go. What do you want from us? We want. Uh, I forget. Oh, for crying out loud! We want a Jinx root. Flanders stole. Uh, shut up, Seth. I'm in charge. I make the demands. We want a Jinx root. Flamisol, uh, a, uh, Gerbisil Frond, Gerzilond, and, uh, Flackroot. Flackroot! This guy's a fuck. This is ridiculous. Anyway, going back, you have to give us those things. Otherwise, you'll never hear from her again. <laughs> Incidentally, since he failed to mention it, we're in the abandoned tower through the tunnel to the north. Bring the items there if you want to save her. We'll be... Let's go, Zat. Quit messing around. Rumble. God. Okay, listen. You want to talk about, like, from another era? I... You never see, like, a Crab and Goyle or a fucking, um... Biggs and Wedge duo anymore. Like, these guys are fucking, like... This is peak 90s shit right here. Never even heard of those things. Me either. What are we gonna do, Notash? What's gonna happen to Gruck? I don't know. I just don't. Okay, it's... What's all this noise here? Gruck was just kidnapped by some really weird-looking creatures. They was... We're just in town making demands, which we can't meet. Oak is very upset about it. Where'd they go? They said they were going to the abandoned tower through the tunnel to the north. I'll take care of this. Wait here. Okay. Go team. Uh, I should go have a sit. deals. Oh, you know, we're going to be over here, aren't we? So let's go and, uh... Let me get that shit off Farrakh real quick. And give it the brub. Jesus Christ, you can destroy your rings. If you want to do that... Something this game's lacking. Uh... Yeah, I mean, well, okay. It so there's a couple ways you could do that. Um, you could use a flash drive, of course, or like a flash card, and that's the easiest way. But you're just like you're not even really doing that. You're. Uh... This is why is fucking Choco have everything? Uh, why is the wishbone keep getting equipped? What the fuck? That's so weird. Um, so a flash card is basically just you're emulating the ROM off of the little thing that's using the hardware, you know. Um, 
the other way you could do it is you could either buy boards that are blank and um, using a the actual ROM dumper apparatus you could load a ROM back through the assembly code into the cartridge so it would function like a, a, an actual Game Boy game would um, so the, the, the consideration there is that you need to make sure that the game's files are going to fit on that thing uh, because the actual physical hardware had a, a size limit um, and if you're just playing like something that made some little changes or like uh, like a palette swap or something like that uh, it's not a big deal but if you're doing like um, There's some Pokemon, I think Crystal, like Polished Crystal, I think might now be too big to actually fit on the, uh, on the, uh, original cartridge. So there are, like, there's a 4 megabyte, um, cartridge, and there's, like, a 9 that was used in, like, certain Japanese games that has a lot more space that's actually functional. Um... And that's usually... So it's basically like you're just kind of making your own bootleg games. Yeah, there's... there's uh, Honestly, there's several guys I know who are a lot better at that than I am. I probably won't ever have that opportunity. Uh, the best I could do is pay someone else to do it for me. Because, um, again, I lack hardware to do so. and A lot of the know-how. Um... But I'm part of a ROM hack community of archivists and uh, devs. That's where I know uh, the guy who did Shin Pokemon. Uh, and then uh, I'll be doing Meteor Beasts, the second update, whenever that comes out too sometime this year. Which I I honestly don't know when it's going to fit in somewhere. Because like, we're doing this straight into the end of summer. And then... We've got Spooktober, so we're going to do more Castlevania games. Um, and then uh, we've got like a month and some change till Christmas. So maybe then, I don't know, maybe November. Since I've already done some nostalgia games this year. So that could, that could fit. I'm assuming it'll be done by then. What was I doing? Oh yeah, rings. Um... What does this do? So, 21, 21, 20, 18, what is it? Archaic Leaf. I don't see it actually make a difference. Oh, it includes skill. Might be good on him, I don't know, what else we got? Golden Clover, I think it's just, yeah, that's a lot more luck. Ravage Foot, we don't touch. Shield Orb. Good defense, I think I'm going to leave that on him. And Wishbone. It's just slightly more luck. Okay. Uh, so that's good enough. What can Grub have? Wait, we got someone else we don't. No, that's fine. Um, what happens? <laughs> I'm curious. It's gonna happen there, and I guess we could give uh, we'll give him the leaf. There we go. Good stuff. Um. Uh, yeah, they're mostly Pokemon hacks. Um, there are... They have, uh... Outreach. Like, there's other Discords that they're kind of connected to that do other things, I think. I don't know, I haven't really looked in that that much. I'm assuming, like, there's other, like, Zelda or, uh... Mario. 
you know, there's like, there's other other uh, ROM hacking communities. Uh, uh, let's see what the shake does with all that extra skill. And then, I need to look up what the fuck Luck does again. Luck actually isn't just a dump stat in this game, it does something with combat, but I forget. I think it actually gives you, like, you know how most games have, like, some kind of RNG into the damage calculations. I think this game gives you uh, some ways to fuck around the probability. Um, and I think that's what luck is. Maybe. So let's see if we just do like an insane amount of damage or something. Yeah, um, I've been dabbling. God damn, this thing is cooking tonight. Um, fuck. Oh, you know what? That might be why. Oh, ho, ho. I've discovered the problem. I had my fucking computer plugged in, and that was causing it to heat up. I bet. Maybe if it'll cool the fuck off. Six. Uh, it'll get a little bit better. Um, I've dabbled a little bit in it, and the big problem I'm seeing right now is I can probably figure out how to change things, but I cannot compile, because it requires a boot to an, um, WSL on the, uh, on the command prompt, and I don't really know if my computer has the space or the brains to really figure out how that works. Um, but yeah, um... Jojo did a lot of really cool work with Shin. Um, I highly recommend. I've got a whole, like... Oh, Jesus Christ. I played that game for, like, 70 hours. Because um, he asked me to do uh, playtesting for the post-game. And I didn't realize, like, there was, I spent, like, like almost 30 hours just in the base, uh, base game. And then another, like, 40 uh, doing post-game stuff he added. Uh, but he did a lot of really cool stuff. Namely, he fixed, I think he said, 255 bugs and glitches in the code. Um, and I think one of the biggest ones that I found most impressive, oh my god, uh, was um, he fixed the item overflow in the, uh, the game's WRAM so that instead of like how you can start moving things up and down and then like literally begin to reprogram the game because of that overflow uh he made it so that uh unfucked itself and that freed up a lot of space in the w ramp we're gonna shake that fucking tusk wisp he scares me yeah get shaked punk yeah fuck you And then audio, I think, I always get these guys mixed up, because, like, I always feel like one guy is doing the work, the other one saying, it's not, it's like, someone else. Um. Oops to the piss. Oh, this guy who does the works on the randomizer, too, on there. I didn't realize that. Yeah, audio spawn. Um, uh, that's the, the dev of Media Beasts, and it's like... It's a hack mod, and it's a really well-done one. Um, I had a lot of fun with that playing the first time, and apparently he's like... Uh... I think added like a whole map and a whole. Oh, I think that's just the yeah, TV. Um, yeah, I think it's like a whole new map and story, which is fun. Tony Ween. There they are. 
is that? I have a plan so cunning you could brush your teeth with it. You? Cunning? Cunning? <laughs> um, Kingdom Hearts randomizers. No, but I know of OpenKH, which is a general, like, a uh, ROM hack slash, like, um, fuck, what do you call it? It's, it's not just an archive, it's like, um, the whole game, you know, opened up. So, I'm sure there's someone might be working on something out there, but I haven't heard anything of it. Um, I'm not really sure how that work. Like, would it just randomize the worlds, or like, would it be randomizing rooms? Hold on, fix this stupid menus. Um, uh, my favorite pick. That's a tough one. Um, I want to say the original. I think the original game's the best. Um, just because it's like, it's the original ethos of the game. Um, which is like, it wasn't just a Square Enix RPG with a Disney overlay. It was like, an action platformer that had RPG elements tied into it, you know? So you weren't just, like... And that's one of the big things, my big beefs with Kingdom Hearts 2 was, is, like, it's a lot of that Final Fantasy 13 hallway shit where you're just running from a hallway to an arena to a hallway to an arena. It's super stupidly linear. And, um... Kingdom Hearts, the original Kingdom Hearts was much more like, there's a lot of thought put into level design. Um, and then I think a close second would be, uh, oh, and the, the fucking combat actually had, like, thought put into it. Um, whereas in 2, it's like, the fucking uh, reaction command just kind of invalidated everything. You know? And I'm saying this with, like, one playthrough of each, you know, on standard. So I do need to try and actually, like, do hard mode and complete them. And then I could probably give my assessment a little bit better. Um, and then I think Chain of Memories, immediately after that, is a close second. Just because I really like the deck system and the fact that you can actually like, spec into magic. We just missed some fucking Laurel and Hardy hijinks going on here. Um, definitely GBA. Um, the PS2 was okay. Um, but I think... Oh, here we go. That's what this place is. Uh, good you doesn't time for one. I can't open this door. You will help. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Go downstairs and open the door from the inside. Do not be fooling around. Do it now. Um, the combat system, like, the problem with the GBA port, or the PS2 port, is they took the KH2 engine and just slammed it all together. And there wasn't as much thought uh, with how it would work in a 3D environment. And the big thing I had a beef with, uh, with the PS2 Chain of Memories, um, was the fucking lock-on. They didn't have, whatever reason, I don't think they put in, like, a lock-on toggle. So you could, like, switch between enemies. It was just whoever was in front of you you pretty much were stuck fighting, you know? Um, but Chain of Memories was designed to be like a, a 2D 
uh, format. Um, and I think that, like, that really didn't help its case um, with the PS2. Like, a lot of the areas just felt really fucking big. Don't even get me started on the fucking Malusha fight and the fact that just, they gave you this third stage that you, di you didn't need. Like, you didn't need to fight him three fucking times, you know? He was just some fucking dude, you know? And then, um... God. The, uh... The fucking Rico mode. Good God. Did that need some fucking tuning. Like, I quit that. I quit that fucking mode halfway through. I wasn't gonna fucking do it. I got stuck on, like, Vexen, I think? It was either Vexen or one of the Riku fights. Or clone Rikus. Um, but the fact that the Dark Mode would just trigger in when you used a slate to break a card and you didn't get the slate back, it was like, oh shit, you have 12 cards and there went three of them. They're just gone. Now what are you gonna do? And it, it's just, it was so fucking annoying. Um, and it definitely wasn't that way on GB. I remember really enjoying. Uh, Riku's path because it was an interesting challenge. Uh, what is Power Through after it? Kingdom Hearts 1, exact copy of Kingdom Hearts 1, Old Plus. Yeah, and okay, and see, oof. You see, that was, a, that was a beef I had with it too. I had a complaint with that, but then I realized Chain of Memories, and this is why I like it so much, Chain of Memories actually did some really cool stuff with the storytelling in, uh, because you're going through all the worlds again, right? And where to get really grueling is that you had to go through eight fucking uh, rooms between little story beats, right? But the fact... And, like, I played... When I played it on the Game Boy Advance, I didn't play the original game yet. So when I went back, played it, and then played it again, I was like, oh, wait a minute. This isn't fucking right. Like... They were changing things very subtly in the um, Chain of Memories plot lines. So that you would still do like the intro, uh, you do intro, conflict, conclusion, like you would in the original game, but things were changed. And because no one remembered that, no one commented on it, it was left to you as the audience to pick, pick it up on. Um, and then, like, I, my favorite fucking thing is when they introduced Twilight Town, and, like, you were, like, by that point, like, Sora was so far fucking gone that he had already, like, he had pushed away Donald and Goofy, and, like, it was just him and Jiminy, and they had no idea what was going on, and you just walk into this fucking place that you know you've never seen before. It's this fucking town. And, like, Sora's like, okay, we gotta go save Namine. He's like, Sora, what the fuck is going on, man? Like, you're you're legitimately out of your depth here. <laughs> it was so fucking good. That reveal. Um, and, it, like, it was also really, like, nicely contrasted with the fact that, like, Twilight Town was, like, very nice and soothing, and the combat was plucky. Like, the combat uh, song was nice. And it was like this this place that looked cool, like you would like to live there, but it's like so fucking weird that he had no idea where he was that he thought he did, you know? That was the cool part of fucking Chain of Memories. Um Shit, I just hold on. <laughs> the thing disappeared and I where the fuck did my phone go? There's I lost the messages. Oh, I'm in here. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. No. Hold on. Dick. Uh-oh. That's a baby. Hold on. Be right back.
Alright, I'm back. My fucking fight or flight shit kicked in because my daughter was crying. I heard the thumping from the fucking uh, bedroom. I got up, I'm hearing like 20 different things, and then the fucking kids' toys start going off right next to me. I'm gonna fucking freak. That's right, okay. Alright, um. Uh, I have a little bit. Like, I know how to do, like, pins and threads and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not really... I don't really keep a lot of servers. I'll usually hang out if something holds my interest for a little bit and then leave. Yeah, it was fucking weird. But yeah, I would recommend... I'm trying to play the game through OBS again. Um, I would recommend that you uh, uh, play through Kingdom Hearts, the first game, uh, and then... Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot what we were doing. Um, I'm sorry, we're talking about Kingdom Hearts, man. Um, uh, and then play Chain of Memories, and you can kind of see how there's uh, some subtle things. Oh, hey, we got a new thingy. Um... Too bad we have no idea what it does. Wait, there's even... There's nothing up... Oh. Uh, hey? Why are you silly monsters? I'll smash into juicy green meatballs. Where's Gruck? I'm right here, Goku. Ha! The green monsters ran away like little scaredy cats. Yeah, sure. That's what happened. <laughs> you sure know how to make an entrance, don't you? Door, monster, tofu. It really doesn't matter. What I have to smash. Gogur has completed his mission. Huh, <laughs> you're so weird. I am exploding with delight. Please don't explode. Shouldn't we go back to town now? Good idea. Oh, it's you. Hi, uh, Tony. Hi, Tony. You find out what was in my basement? Uh, just kidding. It was probably those two guys that kidnapped me. I should be able to rest more easily now that they're... How did they get down to the basement? <laughs> Wait, it was funny. I was playing uh, when I was streaming Chain of Memories on the, the PS2 one. Like, I was doing... Uh, the Magical Menace, where I was just using a bunch of spells, because I had not really played with those on the GBA, so I was like, ah, oh, you know, let's try those out. Um, and someone came in and was like, was watching me, like, just slight, 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 boom, slight, slight, slight boom. It's like, whoa, you must be really good. It's like, not really. Just kind of doing whatever. Uh, another bot. See, I don't know about bots. Um... Shit. I could try and ask, uh, cause we used to, when I was in the video shorts, um, Discord, they had a bot that was doing basically the same thing. Uh, I don't really remember if it had any difference, though, but I haven't heard, I haven't talked to Peaches in god years. Um, uh, what does, what does this do? So I could try and reach out and see what he's got. Is that defense? Oh, it is defense. Ooh, we're going to put that on... Um, we're going to put that on... What's this shit? <laughs> oh my god, 50 minutes. Yes. He a big boy. Okay, I want to try something really quick. So this Ravage Foot drops luck, right? Like, he's got 30 luck right now, drops it to zero automatically. But, what if we put it on Ravage? Oh, it still drops it. Okay. Oh, well. Um... What was the skill? Maybe that's why he can't heal. Oh, 
Oh, they're the same thing. Yeah, I would go to bed if I were you. That is absurdly late. Or is it hell? I, that would be about when I was waking up anyway. <laughs> That's when my kids are waking me up. That's basically just an all nighter at that point. Okay, I want to try. I want to see how like little damage he takes now. Um, kind of. So, this game, I talked about, I've got a video about, like, the history of Magi Nation. It's not necessarily a video game uh, series, it's a card game. Uh, it was big in Canada. And it was, like, the, uh, the creators... Holy shit, that is a lot. Um, that's normally, like, 20. Um... The creators were trying to make a card game uh, that was like between Pokemon and Magic. Uh, so, yeah. Um, there was going to be another one. And they, like, the game looked done. Because Nintendo Power had, like, a full page spread of, like, all of the mechanics and the new features, like, and all this new shit. Um, but then it got cancelled. And it got turned into a mobile phone game. Uh, which, in it, honestly, doesn't look like the same game. Like, it looks like a worse version of this game, honestly. Um, it's still 2. Why the fuck is it still 2? Uh, beyond that, there's, so there's this, this weird phone game. And then there was also... Uh, a browser game which was I think more loosely tied into the TV show than anything um, try one more um, but yeah this was most this was really it this is the definitive Magi Nation experience oh I got four that time uh, which is unfortunate because it was a good game well, you know, I shouldn't say unfortunate. Like, that's more of a modernist mindset where we have to have, like, everything's got to be a fucking series of video games. It's like, it, it's fine that this was a standalone game. You know? It could be worse. But it's just, it's just a good little time. No, I've not played DDD. Um... My sister came back. I'm so happy. Are you the one to help save her? Or actually, well, I mean, I was there, but I really... Thanks, uh... What's your name again? Tony. Thanks, Tony. Sis went back to the farm to rest. But she says thanks, too. Tony, I'm not trying to be rude. But why are you here in the underneath, anyway? Are you lost? No, I'm looking for someone. Really? Who? Not quite sure, but... Whoa! Earthquake? Again? What a vicious earthquake. At this rate, the whole town will be crushed. What should we do, Elder? We need to do something. Yes, perhaps we should evacuate to the surface. We can't. It's too dangerous to wander around now. It's just as dangerous to stay here. Wait, do you mean Dream Drop Distance? Oh, yeah. No, I haven't. Um, honestly, I skipped most of the DS games. I played Free Free over two days, but, like, you have to understand at that point, um, everything just kind of looked like a copy of the first Kingdom Hearts game, so I was like, ah, I'm good. I'm good. Just a little quake. What's the big deal? Shut up, Gober. This is no time to be macho. See this, what happened? Something just burst up from the ground near the farm. Then this quake started and destroyed my house. Ow. Wait. What was it that burst up from the ground? 
It was some kind of large black thing. Another shadow geyser. Huh? You know something, flabby one? Better talk. Yeah, I'll try it. I just need to figure out, uh, how. I don't really know what's got Dream Dots, because it was a, was a, it's a 3DS game, isn't it? I could probably just get it on Citra, maybe. No time to explain. If the geyser's closed, the quakes should stop. Really? Look, take care of Grook. We're going to take care of this Shadow Geyser. Okay. Oh, Christ, that means I have to go buy another version of fucking 2. Be careful, the Quake is much stronger there. Can you walk yet? I think so. Not safe out here, come on. Let's go wait in Dogra's house. Why well, not your house? Uh, his place is closer. Let's just go. Well, this is the perfect time to go take a nap. God damn, you know, for like, oh, because honestly, I'm, I'm surprised I'm still going. Yep, it's a shadow guys. Yeah, they're still too young. The only game I, well, we've got Mario Kart, and, um, my son has a Hot Wheels game he likes. So those are the only two big ones. No, I want to, but like the big problem now is like all the stuff I've uh, collected throughout the years is like borderline irreplaceable because it's getting so stupidly expensive like I can't give him one of my Game Boy Colors because if he breaks it that's like $120 to replace you know it's insane um, so I've got like I've got some other stuff um, I've got a Mega Man plug and play which I intend to actually do a stream up one day uh, it's like Mega Man 2 I think um Oh, no, not my grub. Use my bug. Um, and it's like, it's a cheap way of just playing an old game. Um, and I've got Castlevania. I've got like the advanced and classic uh, collections on PS4. Uh, so, yeah, I've got some stuff that you can try. Uh, I just really, like, I don't know how imperative that's going to be when he finally gets to be the age of trying to play games. Um, because, you know, most kids like on Fortnite and shit. Or, like, uh, VR. So it may just be he's not even interested. Yeah, yeah. It's far more uh, cost-efficient to just emulate. And then you don't have to risk that shit. Brisket for the brisket. Does he have blur? What a weird hand. Oh, he's playing two pairs. Gross. But, you know, honestly, like... I'd rather he not play video games. I'd rather he just goes outside and play. Like, that's what I'm trying to instill. Is like there's better ways to spend your time than playing video games, and I understand it's fucking hip like hypocritical homie for my ass, but you know, like he plays soccer, and we're gonna try and get him a t-ball, you know, and we go outside and play in the pool, or, or 
by like the, the splash pad or go out for walks and shit, you know, just try and keep him outside as much. Depresso wrap. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh god. How do I get all my energy back? Probably like it's just a really good intro. Cause then you can just set up like you get your weak little bro out there and not have to worry about taking too many hits cause he's a little fucking nut. Four damage, god bless America. Yeah, it's true, yeah. I definitely do need this me time. As long as he's like got a healthy respect for the outdoors and physicality and nature, it's like I don't mind if he plays games later on, you know. But one whole in Ravage is really like it's a fast leveler. It's not something I was expecting. I keep running into the same fucking dead end. Like, I've done that three times now. Like, oh, maybe it's up here. Nope. Maybe it's up here. Nope. Where am I even going? I'm trying to find the... the geyser, right? Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. My son's not even, he's like, he's going to be four in August, and he can already write his name, and counts to that, and he knows his ABC, so. Those are my little, those are my victories, you know. I'm glad he can do all those things now. Nah, it's, yeah, I'm not going to, like, post fucking pictures of my kids or some shit, but. I'll talk a little bit about. Because unfortunately, it's like, I can't really talk about my streaming schedule without bringing up the fact that, like, 95% of my life is dedicated to either working or uh, taking care of my family. tell you one thing though it's like I can't stand those YouTube channels where it's like um, the parents are making the kids play with stuff it's like my son likes those because he likes to watch uh, the older kids playing but like to me it's like it, it looks horrifically fucking predatory you know like the whole thing feels forced like I don't know, it, it's, it puts me in like it puts me off of that crap you know, so I'm, I'm never going to do that crap in my life, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, seriously. There's some weird shit with safety numbers in this game, like... I feel like once you've got all your slots filled up and you can start focusing, all of you guys are safer, because no one, uh, monster is more likely to get hit. You know, and now we've got a little bit of energy back, like, we're not losing an insane amount of energy like earlier. 
Uh, I do not know Joseph Anderson. And I'm lost again. <laughs> Fuck me. This place is nuts. I'm about to bust out the paper and pencil and just make myself a map. The great part is, this is one of those games, I don't think they ever had it like a Prima strategy guide published for anything. Oh, can you go through this way? Maybe that's why I could figure out where to go. Uh, I fucked up. Fact it up. I love fucking slide puzzles. So. Uh, boy, this is not what my brain needs right now. Yeah, that's the way to do it. It's like, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest here. I'm never going to get to that point of success where I need to, like, actually consider, like, my family's safety over my ability to be a successful stranger. It's just not going to fucking happen. I can't figure this shit out. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Um, but yeah, there's some people who... That is definitely more of a priority than others, um, and it shows. Oh, okay. And it sounds kind of weird, but this is also, like, as far as family goes, like, this is kind of my me time, you know? Like, I'm not going to have my wife, like, guest stream or, like, moderate my Discord or if I had Discord or anything. Like, I'm not going to, like, I'd rather just be doing this on my own. Which I know probably sounds bad, but, like, they've got me the rest of the day. I mean, hey, it's whatever. I don't even remember what we were talking about earlier. Besides Kingdom Hearts. trying to go around, right? You gotta go all the way. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Wait, have I been here? I, mean, I just missed that fucking chest this whole time. Give us a gem. Global Wharf. Eh? Where do I come from? 
Depends on what I go. I cut my Joe. I don't. I don't know how I just kind of randomly ran into her house the first time. Wasn't it to the north? I've got so much fucking cave rope on. I wish you could sell that shit. I've got a whole bunch of things from like Void Anamite I'm never using. Okay, let's just try heading north. If we head north, we can't head south. Yeah, I'm a little bit bad at this. <laughs> Fuck. Ugh, okay. Okay, so that's the way back. Uh, I have to go close the shadow geyser. So we're trying to get back to our farm because that's where it popped up. The problem is I can't remember how I got to our farm in the first place. Five percent sure this is just a problem because I'm tired, you know. Did I find it? I did it. Aha. Aha. Wow, I've never seen anything like this. Careful. It's stand aside, Scry. This is John for Gogor. It's fucking kidney punch his ass. Where's Gogor going? I'll seal it with this rock. Wait, what work if you can't? And he's dead. I was trying to say you can't seal it that way. Or it's whoever tries to touch it. What was spinning? Yeah, he's fucking dead. <laughs> the Coraglyph, and you must be. Oh my, this is not good. Don't worry, I'll take care of this geyser. Leave the underneath as soon as you're able. Kairos, for all of our sakes. Kairos, the great Magus Kairos? Let's go, everyone. See, again, it's, it's just like... Oh, uh, yeah, I remember this place. Little buttons. Uh, just those little moments of, like, drama, you know? Make it really good. Oh, what the... F oh, wait. That's what's going on. Start the bits. Uh, 
these places are cool. I love these core, uh, these uh, guys. And I think there's new monsters in here too, if I'm not mistaken. Each of the guys just has like a new monster based on the theme. Or just black or gavros, I guess. That too. Decently powerful still. God damn it, Parma Lake. Yeah, there's a Grax. That's a new one we haven't seen yet. I'm in danger. Shake the Grax. Lamp the Grax. Grax the Grax. Literally turn the light off. Beetle on Beetle Warfare. Yeah, I'm gonna hemorrhage fucking. Uh, health from this one. Prism. As a mirror, what? Oh god, bro, no. prison now. Alright, we're just gonna claw the fucking Grax. Fuck him. One whole energy. Thanks, Rabbit. Good job. Yeah, only a hundred down, it's not bad for one fight. Getting to hit the point where I'm having a hard time staying awake, so we're probably gonna end here shortly. God damn it, I knew I should have used the armor. Alright, man, thank you. I'm glad you were able to catch this one. <laughs> <sighs> Oh god, it's a shriek, shike, shrike, shriek. It's a shriek. I think it's just a bird, if I remember correctly. Oh, what the fuck did I do? Help. That was terrifying. Get in. Yeah, it's just a bird. The picture is far creepier than the actual monster itself. I think 
I'm just gonna skip Ravish, I don't have the energy. Oh damn, that's a lot of energy. Birds. It's a very high, st high stakes game. Oof. It's a lot of fucking animal crossings. Alright, I think I'm actually just gonna miss it. We had 88 fucking energy. Thank you. 